you know, speaking of uh, personal stories while we're on this note, uh, Joe Amersino, homegrown guy, he was telling us tonight that his dad was out there tonight. Uh, nice that you were able to see your dad out there, although you were, you were working, but you've got somebody with you, we understand, who was there for the 04 championship with, with a pretty remarkable story, Joe. I do. I want to share a story with you tonight of a, of a man who, uh, you know, you hear about Red Sox fans that live and die with the team. I'm going to introduce you to a guy who lived, died, and then lived again with the team. And his name's Joe Brill from Quincy, Mass. Back on September 15th, the Yankees were making their last appearance here at Fenway of the season with Mariano Rivera. Joe suffered a heart attack here right at Fenway Park, a lifelong Red Sox fan. His heartbeat stopped. They put him on life support, induced a coma. And six weeks later, he's here as the Red Sox win the World series Joe how you feeling man oh it's so good to be alive Joey I feel great the doctors are amazed I can't thank the medical staff here at Fenway that saved my life um, it's just it's a totally incredible and the first thing I said when I come out of the coma was the Red Sox are winning it all that's why I'm back this team kept you alive they listen who else can die for the Red Sox and come back to watch them win the World Series? It's just incredible to be here. Um, the team just never gave up all year. They always found a way. Just game after game, I don't think they lost three games in a row. It's just incredible. And Joe's story goes beyond that. His brother, Bob Brill, actually pitched in the Cardinals organization. And at age 20, he went to spring training and unfortunately learned that he had cancer. He died at age 29. Joe was out in St. Louis rooting on the Red Sox in 2004, trying to break the curse. And if you can come back to us here at Fenway and on the field, underneath the Red Sox shirt that he wears, he wears his brother's game jersey, who pitched in the Cardinals organization, as he did in 2004 when they won the World Series out in St. Louis. How special is this and, and how do you keep well, your brother's memory alive? He had a 98 mile an hour fastball, by the way. He's always with us and we give out baseball scholarships out of Quincy High School in his name. And uh, every St. Louis in Red Sox World Series I've been to, I've had a shirt on underneath my Red Sox shirt. Right. And I'm sure he's very happy the Red Sox won, although he loved uh, his manager was Kenny Boyer, and yep. he loved the Cardinals. But we were Red Sox fans from since we were four or five years old. You don't have to tell me that. I can see it. Joe Brill, we're so happy you're here it's with us so tonight, and it's good to see you alive. Thank you. It's <laughs> so good to be alive. God bless the whole medical staff here at Fenway. Just incredible what they did for me. All right. Thank Joe you. Brill of Quincy, Mass. That is a real Red Sox yeah. fan right there, guys. Yeah. Well, now we have world-class <laughs> medical care, too. That's what you call a real die-hard fan. <laughs> you got that right, Joe. <laughs> well, what a great, where'd you find that guy, Joe? He's like, was sitting he's out like, here in the crowd. He's someone, so you know, if you're around, you know Joe Brill. He's a I Red see. Sox fan. He's been around for a long time. Right. Wow, that's great. And he had the jersey on, too, and opens the shirt on cue. That was good. That was real good. Yep. Yep. So Joe, happy to see him here. There, yes. are, there are a lot of, there may be just a few people out there who uh, were alive back in 1918 when this <laughs> happened here at home, but very few. So for the people who weren't, like like your 